In this lecture, we'll be talking about Docker networking. Docker networking allows Docker containers to communicate with each other, with the Docker host, and with the external networks. And Docker networking is pretty much like how you do with a machine to communicate with another network via network cable and all those networking protocols applies. Those are all going to be applicable for Docker network as well. And Docker network is very, very helpful while you try to communicate between two or more containers. So Docker networks can be created with the command as you can see over here. And it's quite straightforward, pretty much like how we do the creation of the Docker volume. So in here, with the Docker network, all you have to do is Docker network create, and then the network name and creates the network for you. Pretty much like how we did for the volume, like Docker volume create and the volume name it created for us. That's exactly how you do with the Docker network as well. And there are different types of network available within Docker. And the most important and the default network that we use all the time is going to be the bridge network, because that is the network which will be enabled automatically while we start creating that network. And it is going to be the default network in a single host that you are going to be working. And the most fascinating thing about the bridge network is it does the automatic DNS resolution for the container names. Meaning if you have got a container with a name like SQL Server, and if you want to communicate to the SQL Server container, then you don't really have to specify the IP address of that particular container. Rather, you can just specify the name and based on the name, it is automatically gonna resolve the name of that container with the IP address using the automatic DNS resolution. That is the power of the bridge network. And we also have got what is called as a host network. It is very helpful to isolate the host network with the Docker container network. So that makes Docker containers completely isolated from the current host network which is running. And it's also called as overlay network, which is very, very useful while connecting containers running in different hosts, not like single host, how we did in the bridge network. This network feature is fairly most importantly used in the Docker Swarm as well as in Kubernetes. And finally, this is also called as a Mac VLAN network, which allows in a Mac address for each and every containers and make the container to appear as a physical device in the network. So you can even find the container using the Mac ID because once a container register with a specific Mac address, you can discover that container from within the network. That's how the Mac VLAN network is being used. And these are all going to be used based on specific scenarios. But for our demonstration purpose, we are going to be fully focusing on the default network, which is nothing but the bridge network. So let's work with the network and understand how things work. So in order to work with the Docker networking, I'm going to go to my Windows terminal and I'm going to just type Docker network. And if I hit enter, you will notice that it's going to give me all the different commands that you can use within the Docker network, which is like you can connect to a specific network or connect a container to a specific network, or you can create a network and you can disconnect the network for the container. You can inspect the network. You can list all the networks, prune the networks and also remove one or more network. So we'll see one by one and we'll understand how we can use them. So I'm going to just say Docker network and I'm going to say create. But before I even do that, let's see if I have got any Docker network running in my machine. So if I just do Docker network LS, you will see that there are going to be different types of network already available. Like there is a driver for the bridge network. So there is a default network for the bridge network and there is a none network. So let's say if I want to inspect the network uh, bridge over here. So I'm just going to say Docker network inspect bridge and if I hit enter it's going to show me the detail about that particular network which is nothing but the bridge network so it's going to give me the id of this particular network as you can see this is the number which is matching over here with the network id and it is created on this time the scope is local and the driver is a bridge network and enable ipv6 is false by default so you can enable it if you wanted to and then you can also see there is a subnet number or the subnet mask number of this particular network and there is a gateway as well and you'll also notice that this network at the moment has got no containers attached to it so that is most important than the thing that you need to understand because in upcoming lectures we will see how we can attach a container 
to this particular network and how we can work along with that so that is what is going to happen but you will notice that there is no container attached to it right now so let's say if i wanted to uh, create a network so i can just say docker network create and i can give a name to this network let's say test network something like that and if i hit enter it is going to create a network for me and if i just do a docker network ls it's going to show me all the different networks along with the test network and you will see that i have not even specified what network type that i wanted to create but as i told you the default is going to be the bridge network it is going to create a bridge network for me over here and now if i wanted to inspect this network then i can just say docker network inspect of the test network and it is going to bring me up all the details for that specific network and again it is going to look pretty much exactly like how it was for the bridge network that we were talking about and now let's say if i want to create an overlay network so i can just say docker network create and then i can give a name for the particular overlay network as test overlay and i can give hyphen d for the driver and then i can just specify overlay here so once i do that it is going to create the overlay network but you will notice that if i try to do it it's going to give me an error saying that this node is not a swarm manager use swarm init or docker swarm join to connect this node to the swarm and try again so only if i enable the docker swarm then only we can create this particular network over here but if I want to create a Mac VLAN network, I can do that as well. So let's say if I'm going to say test Mac VLAN uh, networks, so I'm just going to give a Mac VLAN as the driver. And if I hit enter, you'll notice that there is going to be a Mac VLAN network being created. And now if I just do a Docker network LS, you should see that this time it has created a driver of Mac VLAN and it is created for us over here. And if I try to inspect it, it's going to show me the detail about that particular network. So this is how we can actually create networks in the Docker world. And now the question naturally comes is how we can actually work with this particular network with our existing container that we have got, which is nothing but this particular image that we tried running, nothing but the Nginx container that we have. So if I try to run this container, and uh, let's say if I'm going to give this as test engine X and I'm just going to give the port number as 8080 to be pointed to this particular engine X. And if I hit run, you can see that this container is currently up and running. And I wanted to join this container or connect this container to this network, which is nothing but the test network. If I wanted to do it, how can I actually do that? Well, the most easiest thing that you can do it is you can just say docker network and connect the test network with the container which is going to be the test engine x if i do that it is going to connect to this test engine x this guy the test engine x that we have got i think this should be fine and if i hit enter oops i think the t should be capital letter and n should be capital letter as well if not it couldn't able to find that and there we go it has been connected right now and now if i try to do an inspect of this test network so if i just say docker network inspect of the test network you will notice that this time in the container we have got the test nginx being attached and has also got an ip address of 172.19.0.2 slash 16 because you know that the subnet of this particular network is 172.19.0.0 and it is getting the IP address as 2 because the gateway is 1 over here. So that's the reason why you get a 2 slash 16 because that is the base subnet mask address over here. So that's how you get this particular IP address for IPv4. And because the IPv6 is false by default, that's why the IPv6 address does not exist for this particular container over here but at least now you have got the idea of how you can connect a container to the network and if i wanted to disconnect the network it's exactly the same thing all i have to do it is i just have to put a command as disconnect and if i hit enter and now if i try to inspect the network you should see that the container is again empty 
So which means the container doesn't really exist with this particular network. So this is how we can connect to a network and disconnect from a network. So hopefully you have got the idea of how to work with the Docker network. But in our next lecture, we will see a practical demonstration of how we can use the network in real world scenario while working with two different containers and how the communication really happens.